I'm Chef John Placo from Modern Culinary Academy and Powder for Texture. And today I'm going to show you how to make goat cheese spheres. So let's get started. I'm going to start by taking some goat cheese and adding some cream in a small pot. I'm going to heat that up just until the goat cheese becomes nice and smooth. And using a funnel, I'm going to I'm going to pour the mix into a squeeze bottle. And of course, you could always add any kinds of herbs or spices that you like to the mix just before you pour it in the squeeze bottle. And I have this flexible mold here, this hemisphere mold, and I'm going to fill them with the warm goat cheese mix, and then place it into the freezer to set. Probably going to take about an hour. So now we're going to make the setting bath. We're going to use the sodium alginate and to avoid any lumping, we're going to add equal amount of maltodextrin and then mix the two together before we actually add it to the water. So we're going to blend it on a low speed until it's completely mixed well. Normally I put it through a fine sieve so you're actually raining it in in powder form and avoiding any lumps. And then we're going to strain it and place it in a vessel and this will be the setting bath. So now the goat cheese spheres are frozen. We're going to pop them out of the mold and then drop them into this sodium alginate setting bath. We're going to leave it here for 15 to 20 minutes until it completely thaws out and forms a little skin around the goat cheese. Now we're going to take it out of the setting bath, rinse it in some cold water, and now you have a nice liquid center goat cheese sphere. They can serve either cold or you can actually warm it up because this is a heat stable sphere. And so now we can season a little if you like, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and there's your goat cheese spheres, nice and warm with a liquid center.